The Koa Outrigger Canoe is perhaps the purest connection to the ancient Hawaiian tradition of hoi va'a, canoe paddling. The Koa Canoe is a rare treasure that is celebrated and honored, serving as a link to the past and as a living vessel that carries the Hawaiian culture forward. The island of Molokai is home to just under 8,000 residents. Majority of these residents are native Hawaiian. Community and culture are defined by a uniqueness that has earned Molokai the nickname, the most Hawaiian island. Here, canoe racing is not only a sport, but a way of life. Uh, keeps us out of trouble and yeah. Gives us some cultural background and stuff like that. Oh. I think it encourages a healthy lifestyle and it encourages the whole island to come together. I mean, this is at least half the island right here. Every generation, young and old, participates in this family sport. And every racing season, teams from around the island compete to see who is the fastest and strongest. Winning crews are given the honor of representing Molokai in an annual state championship regatta. What makes the state races so unique is the fact that participants are only allowed to race in koa canoes. For most Molokai residents, this is a rare opportunity because Molokai has not had its own koa canoe in over 25 years. This unfortunate situation creates its share of obstacles for Molokai paddlers. But more significantly, not having a koa canoe to call its own leaves a painful sense that something is missing in the Molokai community. You look at the canoe, it's all koa, man. So it's all native wood. And look at, look, at, look, look at the kids over here, they're all excited. The parents come back them up. It really puts a boost in the Hawaiian culture of kids learning how to be on family on the canoe, as a canoe team. On Molokai, we're kind of unfortunate at this point, we don't have a core canoe, so every state regatta, we need to uh, team up uh, with the other clubs who assist us and uh, help us with the um, use of our core canoes. Right now, I'm trying to go from 10 to 10 for talk to the clubs that um, are lending us core boats and reconfirming that we do have their boat. If we had our own core canoe, um, we could, number one, first and foremost to me is we can practice in it. You know, a lot of times our kids, we show up, they haven't been in a core boat before, they haven't been in, in that particular boat before, they jump in, they paddle, and you gotta try to be competitive. And then the, the second thing is just, just having a boat that uh, where you don't have to worry. So I'm looking forward to the day when we can bring our own koa, not have to borrow anymore. And you know, and then actually have it at home and be able to practice in it. The dream of building a koa canoe for Molokai was taken on as a community service project by Coffees of Hawaii in 2005. Coffees of Hawaii teamed up with the Molokai Canoe Racing Association to coordinate the project and to ensure that the effort would benefit all on-island canoe clubs. Soon after, a pair of twin koa trees growing in the mountain forest of Hamakua on the Big Island were donated to the project by Umikoa Ranch. The generous donation opened the doors for the project to become reality. In the summer of 2006, representatives from Molokai flew to the Big Island to bless the trees and accept them on behalf of the island. We refer to our, our trees, any plants, anything living as kupuna because they were created before man was even created. And for them to lay down their life and make the sacrifice that we can continue our culture and our traditions um, is huge for us. We'd like to welcome people uh, from Molokai to our ranch 
we at Dumicor Ranch, we believe we are just temporary stewards of God's great blessings and God's great land. I want to thank all of you for allowing me to be part of this today. And thank David for allowing us to come up to his ranch and donating these trees. This is a big endeavor for our island and this will be our first canoe. And we'd like to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. The process of what we're going to be doing here, we did the blessing, we did the, the protocol. We will be, now the Sawyers will be coming in to drop both of the trees. We're hoping these, these two trees with all of its limbs should be able to create one beautiful canoe. kind of feeling. I think um, uh, there's kind of sadness to it because the tree's been growing here for such a long time. But on the other hand, it's kind of a special thing. It's wonderful at the same time because it's going to be turned into something really beautiful for our island. I feel, you know, special just to be here, yeah, uh, on a big island and, and seeing the trees and just the, you know, just the mana, just the feeling of the area and knowing that uh, these trees are gonna come home with us. So, you know, stepping from, I guess, one stage to the next, yeah, for the trees. Well, I think these, these canoe that, uh, you know, it's going to give back a lot. It's going to bring the paddling community together. Not only the paddling community, but um, as a whole, the island. The two mighty core trees, felled in the misty mountain tops of Hamakua, had begun their new journey. Thanks to the donated services of Young Brothers Shipping, the two trees made it safely to the shores of Molokai. arrive on Molokai it's pretty emotional um, just because when we first met them they were still standing in their forest and then, um, to see them sitting on the dock is um, with all this equipment going by and sounds that are so foreign to them it, um, as I did the welcome that's all I could think about was how strange this place must feel for them and I want to make sure that they knew that we were here that we're still committed to all the promises that we made when uh, we were up in Hamakua and that we intend to keep those those promises to them as far as Malama and them is seeing this project through. From here the logs will be taken up to our warehouses and base yard Makua Trucking will do that for the project uh, the logs will be housed in a warehouse for six months to cure. After the curing process is over, they will be carved by master carvers that will teach young people on Molokai. We will also construct with the community input the traditional holly where the logs are, will be transformed into a canoe. If you take care of a koa canoe, it can last a really long time and that's our intent. They're going to be around for many generations. This is just the beginning of the story. There is much work to be done before the canoes are ready. The Coffees of Hawaii and the Molokai Canoe Racing Association are committed to seeing that Molokai's new koa canoe is celebrated and honored for years to come.